Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over why you should use Doodly to create your own whiteboard videos for B2B marketing. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Whiteboard videos are a great way to engage your customers and prospects. A whiteboard video is a short animated video that shows you how something works through drawings on a whiteboard, a chalkboard, or other surface. Whiteboard videos are perfect for explaining complex topics because they show the viewer step-by-step -step instructions of how to complete a task in an easy to understand visual format. Doodly is really easy to use and it includes a variety of templates if you want to quickly jump in and get started. Your marketing team can quickly create compelling videos with Doodly without having to spend a lot of time and money on video production. According to Wistia, people spend an average of over two times more time on pages with video than without, so it's worth including whiteboard videos as part of your marketing strategy. Common uses for whiteboard videos are demonstrations, tutorials, marketing videos, and explainer videos. They can be used to highlight features of a product or a service in an engaging way that entertains viewers while educating them about the topic at hand. Now you'll see here that I've already started working on a short teaser video for a fictional office supply company so that I can show you just how easy it is to drag and drop your way to a completed video. To create your own video, you'll either choose a template for your video that matches the style that you want to create or start from scratch. In this example, I'm using one of Doodly's built-in templates. You'll see that there's an audio track here. This is music, okay? So this came with the template, and I can change that if I'd like, if I prefer a different song. I just go over to the Sounds tab, click Categories, Music, and then start listening to songs. Once I find one that I like, I just simply drag and drop it into place. Now since I've started with a template, I can customize it however I'd like. I had already gone in and double clicked on the, te the default text that was there and typed in what I wanted it to say. At this point, all of the characters and props are the ones that were included in the template. But let's say that I want to change out this little girl. Maybe I want a different character. So I would just go over to characters and find the character that I'm looking for. Let's say I'd like Amanda. And you just drag and drop her. If you drag her and drop her on top of an existing character, you get the option to replace the image. So that's all I did. I said, yes, I'd like to replace it. And then I can make her larger. Maybe I have her more prominent, like so. Then of course I'd want to do that to all of my characters of this little girl. I'd want to replace her with characters of Amanda. And likewise, if you don't like the background, you can change that as well. So in this case, I have a pretty complicated background. It's an ocean scene and it's got all of these clouds. So I'm just going to delete them all. I'm going to use my command key as I click or control if you're in Windows. And I'm going to select them all at once. And then I'm just going to hit the trash can to delete them. And then now we need something more business-like in the background. So I'm going to go over to props and I'm going to search for a wall. And you'll see that we have some business settings here. I'm just going to drag it in and position it. And right now it's covering up my characters because it's the top layer. So if I click here and send it to the back, we now have a more business-like scene. I think it's a little silly with this guy running in, but that's okay. Next, you'll add a voiceover, which you'll sync up to match the visuals in the video. You can either record the voiceover from within Doodly by clicking on this little plus sign down here in the microphone track, and then clicking the red microphone when you're ready to begin recording. 
Running a business is hard. You've got so many things to keep track of, and you never have enough time in the day to do them all. Or you can upload an existing audio file if you've had, say, you've hired a voiceover artist on Fiverr or you've done it in a different program by clicking the Sounds tab and the blue plus sign and then browse for your file. So my opening scene is coming along nicely. Running a business is hard. You've got so many things to keep track of and you never have enough time in the day to do them all. That's why we exist. We deliver office supplies right to your door for free. Now, of course, because this is completely customizable, you can add your own branding elements as well. So you'll see this template is saying, hey, this is a good spot to put your logo. So you can go ahead and click on this and hit delete. It's just a placeholder. You can use it or not. I think this would be fine to put a logo here. So what you would do is go over to props and upload your logo. You click the little blue plus sign and browse for files. Here's just a generic one that I have. And then you just place it wherever you think it makes sense. In this case, I'm using the suggested area, but you could put it somewhere else if you'd like. Or, you know, maybe I'm going to make it over here in this area. And finally, you can export your video in various formats, including square formats that are perfect for Facebook and Instagram. And that's how you can make a quick B2B marketing video in Doodly. Thanks for watching.